Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Linode. You can build it on Linode. Get started today with $100 in free credit for Mac Voices listeners and viewers at linode.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is the third and final part of our conversation with the Mac Voices Live panel about Apple's One More Thing event that occurred just a few hours after the event wrapped up. We try to reach some conclusions, decide who's going to buy what, and give some final recommendations on how you should be thinking about the M1 Macs and the future of the platform as a whole. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Mark, you, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't see whether you were uh, acquiring one or not. Where where do you stand in this? Uh, no, I I bought a 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro you know, at the start of the year at the same time you did. So, uh, you know, I don't think I see any rust stains on it. So, you know, mm-hmm. no no parts have broken off yet. It's so, patina. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and I have Apple <laughs> hair on it. <laughs> well, come on, <laughs> guys. We all know Mark bought the rust undercoating for his laptop. It's called Apple Care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's got an armor world. Yeah. So, I mean, I looked at these things. I mean, they look like really great machines, and I'd love to own one, but, uh, you know, I, well, I just can't justify it. So, uh, who is buying one then, other than me? I am. I already did. Chuck Ooh, is. Ooh, I'm interested in Chuck's workflow, David, actually. David, okay. So, there's three of us. There's three of us that are, that are buying. A new M powered well, Mac. Right. And a couple of I swore up and down which on model? my various podcasts that I was not going to buy a first generation M processor Mac. And then at least five times during the podcast that we were, that we did earlier today, the words shut up and take my money came out of my mouth. Oh, I, I Guy, if over. they had introduced a 16, I would, I would be saying the same five. thing. They, they are, Brittany. It's coming. I, uh, it's, it's I know it's coming. And then I'll but say, I know I yet. said I was going to wait a generation, but shut up and take my money. So I swore, <laughs> no. I swore up and down I was going to buy it, and I did. So, so uh, Oh, God. Did, when yeah, no, when no, I was no, looking no at them, the reason, so. I, the reason I decided to is because it finally occurred to me as I was explaining to Mr. Kelly when he was like, so what's the event? Uh, you know, last week, he's like, what's the event? And I said, well... Apple's rolling out new laptops with their own processors in them. And he said, like, you know, well, like, what makes that a good idea, basically? And as I was explaining it <laughs> to him... Time, battery life how and much, power. How much time did he have? <laughs> well, you know how big five nanometers is. My wife he doesn't has- know what a processor is, let alone... <laughs> yeah. you know, well, he, he does. Anything in there. He does, but uh, never listens to a single podcast that I'm on. So, um, first of all, imagine the amount of free time that. he has pain. by we not listening do. to any of them. <laughs> but, um, but like as I was explaining it to him, I'm like, well, it's not like this is the first time Apple has done this. Like they've done it in the in the phones since 2007. They've done it in iPads since 2009. So. They're used to, we own the entire stack top to bottom and we're going to, you know, like, and we build all the software for it. So it makes it really easy. And so like, I basically sold myself a laptop by explaining to explaining like the lay of the land <laughs> over dinner. <laughs> Nicely so, done. Well, so halfway yeah. through like, dinner, think- you're like pushing yourself away from the table going, excuse me, I'll, I'll be right back. Because basically, what's the worst like, that's going to happen? I mean, it's, it's it's you know we're not talking like a house. It's it's, it's a laptop. If it doesn't work perfectly, then whatever. No, you right? have fourteen no. days to give it back. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Like if exactly. I get it and it's terrible, like, actually, it, it's that's more fine. the the, ho- the holiday shopping started today, right? That's yeah, true. So I think okay. we have to like January to bring it back if we don't. Like started it, so. beginning in November. Today, what's yes. wrong with people? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> See, they're saying they're saying interest free. And you can return it like in two months. So what yeah. you know? In and fact, I might just return it just for the hell of it. Yeah. Do you well, still get to keep the three percent on your Apple card? Hopefully, that's an excellent I don't question. Know. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be a very weird arbitrage move. But hey, you know, <laughs> everybody's got to have I a just side hustle it for the three <laughs> percent. I've got a they, I've got a fleet fun, of Mac fact, Minis that fun, I'm arbitraging. Fun fact: they they do they do take it back. I've tried this before and they do take it back yes it, yeah charles is <laughs> correct over the last work in the system 
over this nope. year I've made up I've I've laid out all the reasons why I'm not buying one and then uh you I did you and then it. I bought one. Yeah. yeah. Don't I remember one you doing the arbitrage thing with an iPhone a couple shows ago? No, never mind. Uh, I, so, somebody <laughs> saved me from it. I, I still have it until Friday, so oh, that's, okay. uh, I'm okay. good. I'm good. <laughs> so, quick question for well, not quick question. Um I, I would like to know for those of you that are buying, um, and I'll tell my story then. Um, but what really are you doing with your old machines? And specifically, are you selling them? And if you are, how and where? I'll start with that. Um, so I have. So this was a big production for me. I have a 2019 16 inch, uh, the middle model, and I have a 2020 Air, uh, the middle model. And so I was waiting for the announcement. And I'm like. All right, I'm either going to sell one of them or both of them or neither of them, just depending on what's going on here. Um, so the trick was, and I think I told you guys this last time, but you want to, if you're going to sell it online, you should have done it yesterday before the announcement because the values change um, yep. after the announcement. Uh, so I did. So I, I found a few places. I put a link in our chat, but uh, I found one that's going to give me um, like 18 something for the, uh, for the, uh, 16 inch and like 800 for the uh, air, which is not terrible. It's pretty good. Can so, you repeat that, please, Warren, for my friend Charles, who's in the chat right now? Uh, what the the the, the prices? The prices. Or the, yeah. yeah. So the tw the 16 inch uh, 2019 is the i9 with the one terabyte drive, the middle one. It was originally, I think, 24. Um, they're giving me 1880 for it. Um, That's pretty good. It's pretty good. And for mm -hmm. the Air, um, which was, I think, the 1200 model that I got, which was the i5 with the 512 in there, uh, the 2020, 880 is what they're giving. So, you know, wow. you're losing about four or 500 uh, on, on those, uh, uh, Chuck and uh, Mark, wink, wink, if you wanted to do that. Um, <laughs> so, but anyway, so I got that quote. So when it came out, I decided I was going to get uh, one or the other. Um, the Pro, to me, didn't seem that much better than the Air. It has the same two ports. It has the same processor. Um, and, you know, I like the size of my Air. So I'm selling the Air. I got my quote. I'm going to get the 774. And um, and uh, I, got the, uh, I got the higher standard configuration Air. I was going to go 16 gig of memory, but that added another week, and I didn't want to do that. Um, <laughs> And um, you know, with the memory, they they Apple's making a whole big deal with the uh, with the new the, the way the memory is working. It might you know what I was saying on on a couple other people, eight gigs might be like the equivalent of thirty two gigs now because like yeah. the memory is almost yeah, on a chip. No way to know. At this point. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no way to know. I mean, so you know, I'm a, I'm gonna we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the thing we we don't know is. Uh, what was it? Five, six years ago, Apple bought that Israeli company that was making SSD controllers. And <laughs> since then, you know, they you know, their speed of the SSD has you know really you know, sped up dramatically. You know, the thing we don't know is what's the, what's the bandwidth to the SSD because um, historically, adding memory was much better because you had spinning mechanical drives, which are dirt slow uh, in comparison, but. Uh, you know, with the advent of SSD, uh, that's limited the amount of performance boost you get just by randomly throwing memory at things. So, uh, at this point, we at this point we really don't know. Um, it's a whole new beast. It's a whole the yeah. whole thing is well, a whole I mean, new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really have to some of the sites like Tom's. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh. So I so I I have to tell you I was not going to do this I I wanted to but I just couldn't justify it and just for the heck of it I what went doing and the show started, no 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 Biden that's every oh, week um, yeah every but Tuesday, um, and so I started going to all the <laughs> usual suspects as far as the sites to sell and I couldn't I, I have a, a two hundred a two thousand thirteen iPad uh, my iPad Air excuse me MacBook Air and. I couldn't find anybody that would pay me anything for it because they didn't even yeah. have it listed. Mm -hmm. I went to Apple and guess what? They gave me like $140 for it. 
And it's mm-hmm. like, okay, that's that's a nice discount. And it's a machine that honestly I was not using at all. So there's 140 bucks. And one thing for certain, it's gonna go nothing, do nothing but go down. So, yeah. you know, yeah. if you have an old Mac to trade in, and I mean old Mac as in uh, your Mac that you're using now, or, you know, something that maybe is sitting there as a secondary machine, now's the time to do it. Mm-hmm. And don't overlook the fact, because I, I know there are plenty of places that usually pay more than Apple do, but um, or Apple does, than Apple. Right. <laughs> but, you know, don't overlook that. Apple's yeah. the easiest well, way to go. I've done that too. So, I mean, so Apple's the easiest uh, and then, you know, like these gazelles are the second easiest, mm-hmm. like th- those kind of companies. Yeah. Yeah. Then it gets harder when you get to like selling privately on Facebook. And then it gets like super yeah. stupid when you try to but go to eBay. Uh, Apple will also some- let you apply that trade in directly to the new machine, too, right. if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, so, yeah, Chuck can take that 140 straight to the new machine and that covers most of the storage upgrade or, you know, and, and this Apple year- Care or whatever you want to add to it. And a couple of months ago, they changed it where you could actually trade in the laptop in the store. They used to have to sell you, uh, mm-hmm. give you a box to ship it Send back, and then you would have to get the uh, gift uh, the certificate mailed to you at that point. Right, right. Oh, the they changed, and all that. They just Third changed it where you could go to the store to do it. Well, you can't go to the store anymore. Well, if you can go well, to a can. store. You can, no, but but, oh. but what what they let me do, and I and you're right. This I thought that was really interesting because I got on the chat with someone, um, and I obviously I could get a gift card, but if I applied the trade in directly to the purchase price, they will charge me the full price purchase price. Then they will credit back to my payment method the the amount of of the trade in. Mm-hmm. So, so you know, theoretically, as long as I do turn it over real quick, it never hits my credit card, or in right. this case, the Apple, the Apple card. Which yeah. is the other thing: if you do use your Apple card, you get three percent credit. So, right. you know, the the price just kept going down, down, Show and down off. at the bottom line. You had no yeah. choice. You had and to do interest free. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was forced you had to. to. Yes. Yeah. Forced That's to. how I feel every day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did say, you know, this gets me an extra 3% back when I buy my laptop, right? You know that, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And How does that work? Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, like it it took a while, but yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's very handy that that's an option because like in some cases, like for me, I'm getting rid of at least one laptop, possibly two. And when I do that, like... I'm not necessarily up for the hassle of of trying to list it online and find somebody and ship it off to them and get a reliable payment method and whatever. And I know that if Apple gets it and can't do anything with it, then like Recycle at least it's going to get recycled resp- oh, recy- responsibly. Yeah. Yeah, like if it can't go to anything else or if they're like if I don't have an organization that could really use a machine that's quite that old then, you know, it's it's not going to be a big deal. Like, you know, Chuck you were asking about the other machines and uh the machine that I'm talking to you on right now isn't really going anywhere cuz it's just going to end up behind me. Uh and become Mr. Kelly's old machine because he's currently using what is my old machine which is a 2012 I think, uh, MacBook Pro, and uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not he's not unhappy about it. It's got Catalina on it. It's a solid machine. So yeah. he's going to be really excited to get this one, and I'm going to be really excited to get a new one. Like it's going to all work out. But that's part of part of why I decided to pull the trigger on this one. Is like we were talking about earlier is the lifespan of that machine. I'm not buying it just for me. Because this is ultimately destined to end up on the stand behind my hair, where that's going to and become Mr. Kelly's primary computer. Well, you know, normally I have it down, and when I have it down, you can still kind of see the laptop over there. And when I let it, all go, I know is that when I drove you from from O'Hare Airport to Woodstock, Illinois, I could not use my side mirror. That's I'm did not. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so Kelly's hair notwithstanding, the, st- the same. It, it, it does stand. That's the it does point. Stand. Yeah. Kelly's on hair standing. Own. Yeah, um, my hair was that, on time. I was here ten minutes later. Let's the let's... The, the 2012 uh, MacBook Pro over here for over the past 
you know, six to eight months has been my loaner machine. Like it has gone around, you know, it's the pandemic loaner, uh, a friend who's a, ner- who's a neurologist and her machine broke. That was hers. Uh, our foster son's mm-hmm. MacBook pro broke. It was his, like it's, it's moved around and it's perfect for that sort of utility infielder, um, workhorse yeah. role. It's just not going to be bright and shiny and running the latest OS. That's fine. There's still value in it. And I think, Chuck, to your point, you can take a machine of that vintage and either turn it into 100, $140, $150, 200 worth of, of trade-in credit, or you can use it as additional capacity for, for when something breaks. And you need right. you need you needed something in an emergency. Oh, listen! Or I, I, in the grand scheme of things, old computers don't die; they just become print and file servers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, well, also, don't don't discount Plex don't, servers. don't discount Plex taking, is where I was headed. taking older computers and just giving them to people who don't have computers. Uh, I've over the last right. two years, I've given away two Mac Minis, one to someone who was transitioning from the PC to the Mac. And then the other one went to my brother who was on a shutter 2007 uh, iMac that was, Mm -hmm. had a hard drive in it that was slowly dying. So I set him up with a, it was the the quad core 2012 Mac mini. Um, He went and got the monitor and the keyboard and all the rest of that. But I basically just gave him the machine and then spent a couple days transitioning all of his information over to it. And he's, he's delighted. He's, he's got a, a, you know, it's a nine year old computer, but it works perfectly well for everything that he wants to do. So, you know, if you know someone, if you have an old computer that, that in your mind doesn't hold a lot of value anymore, just go ahead and and give it to someone who could use it, who, who is going to appreciate it for just what it is. I did that. That's how I dispose of my 2011, 27 inch iMac. And, uh, yeah, you know, the person I gave it to, you know, he rooted around. He found a way. He actually installed uh, you know, Catalina on it, yeah, and uh, you know, so uh, he's having a ball of the time. So it's, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there is yeah. a lot to be said in uh, just giving away instead of selling uh, old machines. Yeah, There's also another tip. Are, depending more, on the, depending on the age, you're not going to get much for it anyway. Right. Here's right. here's the other tip though. Apple did us a favor by not changing the design, so certain people in my house. Won't notice anything. Huh. <laughs> uh, certain people. You mean the dog, right? The dog. The dog is, the dog is Wait, one of the them. Boss. But there's oh, other. There, it's not even a boss. It's her assistant, my son, who starts asking Did questions he? too. Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Linode. Get one hundred dollars in credit off your first project at linode.com/macvoices. Linode helps you put your business or personal project on the web with some of the best hardware and services behind it, all at a cost that makes sense with no surprises and no hidden fees. You pay for what you get, and you get what you pay for. How to get started? Linode has a library of over 3,000 guides and documents that range from beginner to advanced to help you get your project up and running. But if you can't find what you're looking for, you can visit their community and connect with Linode and Linux experts to get your answers. Concerned about support? Don't be. Linode has award-winning customer support and their team continuously trains so that they can help you fix whatever needs fixed. And those are just some of the great features you get with Linode. Some others include a dedicated CPU, distributed applications, native SSD storage, a 40 gigabit network, and industry-leading processors. All that should be enough to convince you to check out Linode. But if it isn't, how about $100 in credit when you visit linode.com slash macvoices and click the Create New Account button? That should be more than enough to get you started and might take you even farther into your next cloud-based server. linode.com slash macvoices for $100 credit. Check it out now and be deploying your new web server in minutes. Thanks to Linode for their support of Mac Voices. Uh, Didn't they say that the MacBook Air was thinner and lighter in normal 80, or, uh, sorry, wrong world, um, normal Apple parlance? No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. they actually didn't say anything about it. They, they said, said wedge they said the key, design. 
the keyboards yeah. uh, has a, uh, some extra buttons on it, but that's about it. Um, of course, you know, the Apple's going to make it like a millimeter difference. So they, the, the spec cases I have for my old stuff won't go on there. <laughs> okay. I'm sure. I mean, I'm but, sure unless you were really <laughs> using four USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports, you won't notice on the Mac Mini. But um, the MacBook Pro, you would notice. The, no, it's the same. It's a, the uh, same. No, the, the Mac Four the same to two. Sort. No, it yeah, still that, has. That kind no, of stuff. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop. Yeah. Sorry. Because stop. Stop. Yep. Uh, Kelly, you got to show too. You said it wrong too. So the MacBook Pro entry level always had two ports. Yeah. As of last year. There were two year, MacBook Pros, weren't there? There were. There's I, a 13 I'm inch remembering display. this now, and that was a terrible idea from the start. There's a 13 inch <laughs> that had that first. That's first, true. it didn't have the touch bar. Then it added the touch bar, but it always had two ports on the side. But wasn't and there one the, that had four? Yeah, yes, the higher so, levels. Yeah. The, the, the level, entry yeah. level. That's so entry level, confusing. The entry level had the two on the one side, <laughs> and then the higher models had four, and the 16 had four. So this. Yeah, uh, thirty inch that just came out is replacing that low end that had the two before. Mm-hmm. But and okay, the Intel yeah. has a four. So right now the Intels are the only ones that have four, four ports on it. And I am more. guessing this is because, from an evolutionary standpoint, I'm going to bring biology into this. Sorry, guys. Um, it makes sense when you're coming from the the A architecture that you would be first going to the lower end. MacBooks, right? Like the Air, the 13 inch Pro, which surprised me. Maybe they'll end up with two 13 inch Pros because that's just delightfully confusing. <laughs> but but it sounds like they really were going from like, okay, we have this thing that's really successful in our MacBook. Or I mean, sorry, I can't noun today. Um, in our iPad <laughs> Pros, <laughs> and no, we're going to level that up for a MacBook our Air. Brooks. Huh? Our Miss Brooks. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, that's the fifties. Never mind. It was, mm-hmm. You were before you were born. I was thinking okay. of a different Brooks. I apologize. Um, <laughs> so anyway, like y- yeah, you go okay. The lower end of thirteen inch Pro, which I hope they don't keep, but that sounds like a terrible idea. But maybe they will. And yeah, it sounds like they were going from the the lower end ones, which is. That's appropriate, right? Like you're coming from an iPad, you're coming from an iPhone. That's that makes sense to me. You no, want to no, test no, it no, out no. on these you're lower coming, end items. No, you're coming from a window. You're coming from an old, you know, an HP or a Dell or something. Oh no, no, I meant I meant in the evolution of Apple chips. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you said but chips, thing right? Is they spend so much time you know, appealing to you know, our lizard brain, it's two times faster, it's three times faster. I know, and my brain was like, okay, now I need to go look up what is that in comparison to, because I have science right. training, well, we but know, yeah. Exactly, we don't know. All we know and is I did. I as did Ken look Ray, it up. As Ken Ray um, says, and I don't know if he's in the chat room or not, it's fun with numbers without numbers. We know it's two times faster <laughs> than what? Than Stonehenge? I think when he sleeps. <laughs> but, but um, <laughs> Apple. <you know. laughs> Apple has always been weird with this like if you like with, um, the, with the imax what I, they did what what they'll do is they'll make the low end model like super low in the processor and they've done this you know with the they used to do it with the that's imac fine. And i'm okay go, with that because it's still better than intel five right. nanometer in junk but yeah, i mean sorry, you the, can just change the processor out later <laughs> sure just right yeah. oh no that's a pc talk you won't be soldered or anything don't worry about it uh, yeah warren what were you saying no problem <laughs> this, this, new, this, this new processor this whole thing is like a i fix this nightmare right they do everything and put it in the chip they, they, we'll they, find they, out won't we I, I think you know so uh i don't know i think maybe it was jeff or was david said uh a long time ago in this discussion that they're coming out you know to to flood the market at the low end in order to create, you know, excitement and awe, shock and awe, you know, uh, in the developers to get them all interested and motivated for you know, moving their stuff over to, uh, you know, to, you know, to, uh, you know <laughs> and, and, you know, I was talking with a developer last night who was telling me that uh, you know, Apple has done a lot, you know, 
from his perspective, a lot of stupid stuff that a lot of, you know, s- stupid things, you know, like just renaming all the constants that you use you know, in coding. And that's, I mean, they, to me, it just is, you know, the, they're effing stupid and they pulled in Microsoft. They changed stuff just for the sake of changes. And, you know, you're changing a constant, you know, your code that just checks to see if you had this, that sort of error, if you had this sort of success, you know, they changed all the names. He said, literally, he's got uh, hundreds of things that are nothing more than just going into his code, changing the name of a constant. So um, do you know which language he code he codes in? Yes. Objective C. That was my suspicion. I was wondering if they were trying to make it more in the Swift world than uh, Objective C, but yeah, uh, Objective C. I, I don't know. We explain part of it. We don't know that, but then anyway, we coming back to mm-hmm. it. So I mean, they're they're, they're doing a lot that uh, uh, these new Macs. They're you know need to create you know some sex appeal and demand for developers to put up with all this stupid of Apple changing the name of a constant. You know. Oh, and they've done it with hundreds of them. So uh, it's just... I believe it. <laughs> that's a lot of business work. You know, so, that's, so that's why they're going out there. The other thing is, you know, you really have to recognize that this is a vote of confidence that you know, they're going out and shipping this thing in the high volume part of you know, their business line. So, you know, you've got to believe that on one hand, you know, okay, this is, this is going to be... St- is stupendously successful or, you know, it's in their you know, blind spot and they're all guilty of groupthink, which is the old sixties term. Uh, and, is, and it could, you know, and it could bite them in the butt, you know, stupendously, but I have to respect the fact that, you know, they're, they're making a bet on you know, the big bold area. And again, I think this goes back to you know, Tim Cook and the earnings call you know, a couple of weeks ago. He's saying that we're supply constrained in all of our product lines and, Translation, I don't think they can get enough uh, five nanometer arm chips, you know, made by TSMC. So, um, you know, I think that's where it is. And, you know, again, this five nanometer and the, the thing that counts is it's faster and it's longer battery life. I think longer battery life will sell it yeah. to a lot of people. And, and small oh, and, yeah. and smaller thermal envelope because you can't, if you yeah. have a, a fanless sub sub notebook like the macbook yeah. air that can run without yeah. overheating and yes. give you double the performance of the previous generation mm-hmm. like from a consumer perspective that's magic like that is just that's magical yeah. and it all comes down to you know to to power per watt or to m flops per watt how much mm-hmm. compute can you extract from this chip for every bit of power that you put through it that then has to be dissipated right. as heat and it becomes it comes down to physics and speaking of physics i gotta go to a 16th birthday party so yeah. chuck thank you for having me good night everybody happy hey, announcement mike. day hey, yep. it's birthday. great to see you mike happy birthday before you go you. before you go mike tell us where you where folks can find you Please. Folks can find me with the uh, the large-haired and even larger-hearted Kelly Guimont on the After Show, uh, <laughs> our occasional program, which is at AfterShowPodcast.com. Uh, you can find me sometimes on uh, In a Few Minutes with Ken Ray, and you can find me on Twitter at Mike T. Rose. Great. Thanks so much for the time, Mike. Have Happy a great birthday. Everybody. Thank you. I'll pass that along. <laughs> See you. Bye. Don't get stabbed. <laughs> we're... we're, we're pretty much need to wrap this up. Um, I did want, I did want to make one comment though, to, to Warren's comment, um, because I went specifically on Amazon today and was looking and at least for the MacBook air, I can't say about the 13 inch, but for the MacBook air, uh, a lot of the vendors have specifically changed their notations that the, their, their shell cases will fit the 2020, 2019 and 2018 MacBook airs. So it doesn't sound like the, if, if that is accurate, I'll know as soon as I get, both the because, show and the and because the, I, the the twelve Max Pro case fits over my existing phone with the case on it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need new cases for this one. You will. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a safe one. bet. But yes. the MacBook Airs, you know, I think if you if you have one of those models, you got it. And if not, you can order one with confidence. And of course, if it's Amazon, you can return. 
Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Great. we've been at this for a while. And um, but th first of all, I want to make sure I definitely thank the chat room for hanging in there. Um, you guys have been great tonight. Really yep. appreciate all the feedback in the comments. Um, but let's go around the room and um, and let folks know where they can find you before we get out of here. And this time I'm going to change it up and do it in reverse. So since Mike left, everything got juggled around. So Brittany, you're up first. <laughs> wow, I'm first? You're okay. First. Um, I'm ADD Liberator on Twitter, and that's where I post all my nerdy Apple stuff. And if you're interested in the other stuff I do, it's conquer.consulting. Great. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Mr. Gamut, who has changed his look, uh, his angle, we now see more of him and his, uh, his room. Yeah. Well, uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Jay Gamut, both places. And, uh, and apparently now you can find me searching the internet, trying to decide what USB-C dock to buy to replace the Cal digit that died partly through the show. Oh, sorry I to hear hate that. when that happens. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> hey, you, you roll with it and, uh, and hey, the FaceTime camera works. So I just push the display up out of the way and uh, lifted up the lid on the laptop. And now, now you get the candid view of my office. And you should get one from China. I hear they work really well. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for thanks for being here. Appreciate your contributions. It's, it's always, always a blast. Mr. Warren Squar, uh, the guy who keeps coming here and confessing to things he shouldn't confess to. I know it's, it's really good that nobody I know like knows about this, but um, I do. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Warren. <laughs> yeah, it's just between all of us. I mean, yes, it's not like this internet. is on the internet yeah. or anything. Yeah, no, no one's gonna. I don't. Nobody even knows where I am right now um, in the house. So uh, yeah, I do. Um, I do a podcast with uh, Guy and Dave uh, Wednesday. Uh, we do a live cast, uh, Back to the Future Go. Um, Dave and I do a podcast on Thursday in touch with iOS. Um, I like Facebook, despite what you guys all think about it. Um, and um, it's uh, I, there's a group that um, I have been called Back to the Future. That's where the guy does his uh, live cast from, pretty much, or at least where it started from. It's yeah. a fun group if you want to hang out. It's, uh, if you don't want to come, that's fine, too. No, it's not Great. fun. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> you have since, to go. Since it's, it's partially Guy's group, then, and he says it's not fun, then I got I to gotta yeah. believe you. got to go. <laughs> it is fun. So, it is so fun. Guy, gotta join up. Guy, where would you recommend people go to not see you? Uh, to not see me, do not contact me via email, guy at mymac.com. Uh, also, don't go to vertshark.com where you'll see all of the audios and videos that I make. Uh, also, don't go to YouTube and look up Vert Shark there for the, uh, for the playlist that you won't find because it's not there. Uh, I do the mymac.com podcast that you don't want to listen to uh, every single weekend with Gary Gazmaz Malpaz. And uh, let's see, Mac to the Future that Warren was just talking about with uh, with Dave and Warren. We have a good time on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday nights. And lastly, sometimes I get into my car and decide that I want to talk to the Internet and I want to do it live. And that's called Guy's Daily Drive, which isn't done every day, but I am driving and it is me. So two out of three ain't bad. OK, thanks, Guy. <laughs> good to have you. Oh, Mac Parrot and Vert Shark on the Twitters. Oh, yeah. That's important. Well, yeah, sound effects even. I didn't know you were running every for Every time. No, every – actually, Gaz Mass started that. Gaz started that. So every time – it doesn't matter what podcast I'm on, someone will make the parrot sound anytime I talk about Mac Parrot on Twitter. <laughs> the tradition. Or it Fugio. is. Where can we find you? Thank you so much for uh, for all the wisdom and uh, business sense that you bring to the show. Well, uh, it, it's great to be here. And uh, I just want to drink a toast to uh, one of the uh, audience members. I heard his name mentioned a couple of times, Mike LaPont. Uh, we're drinking Chardonnay here. I don't know if you can maybe sure. see. Not Chardonnay. We're drinking Merlot here. It's red, damn it. <laughs> but, uh, you know. I don't Mike, know much about wine, but I know Chardonnay is not that color. And I love watching it disappear. Mike is going to be so disappointed in you. Maybe yeah. he just doesn't have his, his color gamut down right. God, uh, I could take it. Never yeah. Check color but, sync. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway, easy way to get me is on Twitter at Mark Fuccio, M-E-R-K-F-U-C-C-I-O. And back to you, Chuck. Thank you. I almost did a spit take on that from Mark. I, I just <laughs> took a drink of water when you did that. Mark Ms. Ms. Fuccio. Mm, Fuccio yeah. on the chip. Yeah, she, she of the hair. <laughs> uh, apparently my hair is going to have its own Twitter account soon so you can just look for that um, you can find me five days a week hosting the Mac Observer Daily Observations podcast and I'm going to put in a plug for today's episode where we talked after the event and had John Martellaro take us to uh, processor school I like to call it yeah. chip chat okay. with John right, you Martellaro can't, you can't plug that you can't okay. plug that I'll Don't tell you why I said in a minute anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then forget forget I said anything. Uh, you can also find me over at the Incomparable, where uh, I have a show with uh, Don Melton called "Greetings from the Uncanny Valley," where we talk about Westworld. You can hear me on other shows at the Incomparable, where I talk about a variety of other things like aliens and Ted Lasso, the aliens, the movie, um, but also generally aliens and Ted Lasso. And we just did uh, another episode that came out that was very lovely that I absolutely can't remember what we talked about now. Um, so you can find me over there and uh, you can find me on the after show at aftershowpodcast.com that I do with Mike Rose of earlier this evening. And if you still aren't done listening to me talk, you can find me on Twitter as Verso. And I will warn you, uh, there's much explicit language there. And I am occasionally salty enough to de-ice the entire metro area. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, thank you for restricting your saltiness or something. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Oh, Petrie. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, seeing as next week's uh, Mac Voices Live starts in about an hour and 20 minutes, I'll probably just <laughs> sit here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you can find me here on. or at FP Tree on Instagram, uh, tweets, and SEO magazine. And, and here and hanging out and guys show on uh wednesday nights watching him and and frank i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is the check coming yes actually oh, no okay. the, the boom arm is coming off oh, yeah. oh, great that i could use i'll oh. use it next week hey thanks for being here frank thanks for asking me chuck Last but absolutely not least, Mr. David Ginsburg. David sitting up there in the corner of the screen, just uh, looking out across the city of Chicago. Yes. Uh, in touch with iOS at intouchwithios.com. Also on Mac to the Future Go with a guy in Warren on Wednesday nights. And uh, my uh, Twitter handle is DaveG65. Thanks for having me as always. Great. Thank you very yeah, much. I'm much more relaxed on that show. Oh, good. That's. Yeah. Thank you. That's what that's what you want to hear. Yeah, that's what I, what I want to hear. He, Thanks, God. He also talks about nothing for about twenty minutes. If, uh, if yeah, okay. and yeah. cats. Thank oh God. And microphones. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I wanted. I stopped Kelly from plugging her show because I want to plug that show. Um, and I want to plug one other too. Um, if if you didn't can't get enough of talk about the Apple announcements today, the, but the really interesting thing is there's so many different ways to look at this, and you heard a lot of them here tonight. But the, the, one other thing was uh, Mac Observer's daily observations for today, which is what the was today the eleventh of November. November 10th. Uh, today's the 10th. 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 Yeah. Go look, oh, we've been recording so long, I'm sure it feels like the 11th. It, it, yeah, it does. It's the, it'll be the 11th in about uh, an hour, right? Like, yeah, yeah but, pretty soon. Yeah, but go go listen to John Martellaro talk about the chip and what it means for us. Then switch over to Dave uh, Hamilton and um, John F. Braun on the, uh, oh. the special edition yeah. of Mac Geek Gab for the announcements. I'm telling you, there's so uh, many Don't forget ways. the F. Yes. There's so many different ways to look at this. Um, look at this transition and look at what this new chip means for you know, from the consumer standpoint, from the tech standpoint, from every standpoint. So those are two really great shows that also, um, specifically those episodes that will help educate you and, and inform you as you go forth and make your decisions and future plans. So with that, thank you so much for being here, folks. Thank you, chat room. Thank you, panel. Um, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We do this live on Facebook every uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. We hope you will join us next week. The chat room, excuse me, the Zoom room will be back open so you can appear and be one with this crazy panel. Until then, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. 
get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page, and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices, or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.